It's Pelier today and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the 3D warp title in After Effects. And this was once again a requested tutorial from one of you guys and uh, yeah, if you guys have any tutorial suggestions feel free to just comment that down below uh, and I will uh, probably make it. And if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Pelle Kåberg, I'm from Sweden, I'm editing for almost a decade now and I'm also running the website called editingvisuals.com where we have a bunch of editing assets that's going to be leveling up your visuals and speeding up your editing workflow. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check out the website. Now let's start with the tutorial. So here I'm in After Effects, I've added the background footage I'm going to be uh, showcasing this 3D warp title uh, on and uh, very excited this is going to be sick this uh, title card and uh, what we're going to be doing first is to create a text layer. So here we have the type tool up, I'm going to type title, I'm going to use the font edition I think it's a really, really cool font uh, to use here. If you guys want to have uh, other fonts, check out dafont.com. They have a bunch of free fonts. It's a full like, font library where I have, yeah, uh, <laughs> I would say almost endless access to uh, any font you could possibly need. <laughs> After you're done customizing your text here, uh, you just need to basically choose your font. The size settings, you don't really have to, uh, uh, you know, change around too much with that because most of the settings here we're going to be uh, yeah, readjusting later to basically adjust the size of the 3D text and stuff like that. But uh, if you like the look of this uh, 2D text, then you can make it invisible, make a new solid layer, we can name it 3D title, the color doesn't matter, and here we're going to be adding element 3D. And first off here, we're going to be opening up custom layers, then custom text and masks. And then on path layer one, we're going to be choosing our 2D uh, text we made. So the title. Now you guys can click on scene setup and you will get this kind of uh, layout here. And what you'll be doing now is basically press extrude. So this is going to be creating the 2D text we selected to a 3D text. So if you look around here, it's 3D now. And I'm going to be increasing the bevel scale here to 8 to make it a little bit uh, thicker and uh, longer. It has a little bit more depth in it, which is uh, nice. Now go to presets, materials, and then physical. Here I'm going to be choosing chrome. So we get this uh, chrome reflection on the text here. Very, very nice. Now I would say this chrome looks uh, a little bit cheap and it's not actually the chrome that makes it look yeah, a little bit cheap as I said in my opinion. Uh, it's actually the reflection here so you guys can change the reflection by going to the environment here. And here we've got the basic 2K. Uh, we have a bunch of different environments you can choose around with here and you will get different reflection looks here. And these in my opinion are two uh, uh, they are two good reflections, uh, so if we uncheck draft textures, it's going to look something like this. This, is, this in my opinion, looks a little bit too, too chromey. Uh, it depends on what look you guys want, but this looks uh, very chromey. So what I like to do is go to V1 environment, and then here we can choose blurred environments, and it's going to look something like this. And I like the roof blurred, it's going to look something like this, the 3D text. A nice chrome, but it's not as sharp as the other environments. So now when we're done with this, you guys can press OK. And now we get our 3D title here. Now I'm going to be animating the 3D title. So you can go to group 1, particle look. And I'm going to set the particle size to 0. Because I wanted to uh, basically zoom in. So keyframe it at 0 in the beginning, then go to the ending. And here increase the particle size. I'm gonna set it to something like this, 22.4. That works well for my text. And then go to particle rotation. Then open up the layer, effects, element, group one, particle look. And then now mark the keyframes here, press F9. And select the keyframe and open up the graph. And here I'm gonna be making this kind of graph here. So this is going to be making a fast motion in the beginning and then it's going to be slowing down in the end. So it looks something like this now. 
pretty pretty clean after that you guys can open up particle rotation and here we can go a little bit further in to see the uh, rotation how it looks so here on the x rotation i'm going to set it to minus 90 so it's going to look something like this the text and the y rotation is going to be plus 90 so it's going to be something like this here and then you could be keyframing these at the beginning so minus 90 on x rotation and then plus 90 on the y rotation then go to the ending here set the y rotation to zero and then set the x rotation to a minus i would say minus 25 or 30. somewhere like that to get a nice tilt on the text after that open particle rotation and then select all of the keyframes here press f9 then we can start off with the x rotation open up the graph here and then make the same kind of graph we did with the particle size so fast in the beginning and it's going to look something like this now pretty pretty clean then go to the y rotation under graph editor make the same kind of graph here so this is the look we get a pretty pretty smooth and clean rotation here on the 3d title now after that you're going to be going to the deform setting here then open up twist and then enable twist and here we can go a little bit further in to see uh, the twist here we can twist the y z and then the one we're going to be using the x uh, twist and i'm going to set this one to 220 something like that uh, degrees keyframe it in the beginning then go to the end and set it to zero open up deform here twist select the keyframes press f9 you can make it negative the amount here i think it looks a little bit better if you have it negative instead because now it's going to be twisting from the other angle of the text basically so this is a much cleaner twist i think than the positive amount here so it looks something like this instead very very clean and now what i also like to have uh, is to use the bend option here so you guys can enable bend increase the bend angle a little bit 31 something like that and then bend direction increase that one to yeah 102 something like that just to get a nice look on your text here we get a nice bend on our text there this is before after super super clean so this is our animation so far looks absolutely amazing and now we're basically done with the uh, uh, animation in element 3d so we're going to be going down to the a little bit more funnier settings i would say uh, and that is the rendering settings here so these are the settings that will be creating the high quality look of the text so we can start off with physical environment and you guys know we chose the roof blurred i think it was called and here you guys can basically rotate that environment around to get a different look or reflection on the, the text here so i messed around a little bit with the rotation here and i got this kind of reflection uh, by using these uh, details here if you guys want to copy the same uh, looks pretty pretty nice the text and now to make the text more realistic is obviously to add shadows to it so if we go down to aimbit occlusion then enable ao here we can increase the ss ao intensity to uh, I'm going to set it to 40. That's going to be creating strong shadows here on the text. Then you can increase the quality of the shadows by uh, increasing the SSAO samples. And then you can also use multi-sampling as well. And you guys can also adjust the uh, shadow settings here on the SSAO radius, distribution, gamma, contrast. So if you increase and decrease this, you guys will get a different look on the shadow basically. I'm not gonna do that too much because uh, my PC almost crashed. So I'm going to be going over to the next settings basically. So how to increase the quality on the actual 3D text. So you guys can see if you zoom in a little bit, you get this kind of pixelated edges here, which I mean now we're really like nitpicking, you know what I mean? Like we're really like going in detail like, yo, this is like pixelated here. And when we zoom out, you can't really see it that much, but uh, you know, you're watching my channel and i obviously want to go for the best settings here and uh, show you guys the you know the secret sauce here so uh, what you're going to be doing is basically go down to output here and here you guys can choose multi-sampling as well so if we zoom in here on the text a little bit to see the difference 
multi sampling on 8 increase it to 32 and then super sampling increase it to 8 and that you guys saw that much better quality now so this is 0 you see the edges here then 8 it looks something like this and then you can enhance multi sampling as well this is basically to really you know <laughs> get the maximum quality here and I wouldn't recommend to edit in uh, this quality here uh, this is going to lag a lot for your computer so you guys can go down to render mode and here you can choose like draft preview stuff like that to get a uh, okay maybe not draft but preview to get a little bit lower quality version of your text so you can actually edit you know but yeah very satisfied with the quality and the settings there so now moving on to the warp part of this uh, tutorial here so we're going to be adding the effect called warp here i'm going to just change the warp style to fisheye then set the bend to minus 100 at the beginning keyframe it go to the ending set it to zero then go to the warp effect here mark the keyframes Press F9, open up the graph here, create a graph like this, a sharp graph. And it's going to look something like this. Just a small little warp detail in the beginning, basically. After that, add a turbulent displace. And here I'm going to set the size to 200. So if we look on the text here, it looks something like this. This is off and this is on. And I'm going to set the amount at 50 in the beginning here. So keyframe it at 50, then go to the ending of the animation. And then set it to zero. Turbulent displays, mount here, mark the keyframes here, F9. And here we can make a strong graph like this here. See the difference here? It's going to be creating a little bit warped version of the 3D text, especially here. So that's a small little touch to our 3D text. And then to change the variation on the warpness, basically, you guys are going to be keyframing the evolution here. So I'm going to set that zero in the beginning. And then if we go to the ending here, we can drag this one a full lap here and it's going to be changing the warpness so if you, I just uh, mess around with the keyframe here you guys can see the difference it's going to be creating uh, whilst it's running something like that so this is our animation so far very very nice and now for some extra touches here I'm going to be adding flicker to the uh, text here I'm gonna keep the amplitude at default, so 0.2, but I'm going to be adding a random call amplitude to 0.2. So it's going to be flickering both in uh, lightness and colors. After that, add light sweep, and then here, set, change the light sweep to uh, 1920 if you have FHD as resolution. Then keyframe it at the uh, beginning, go to the ending go over the text here so something like that open up the effect and you can make it start at two seconds i would say so drag the uh, start keyframe there i'm going to be increasing the width a little bit so i'm gonna set it to 75 and then the edge intensity to 60 and edge thickness to 6 so the edges pop a little bit more so this is how our text looks now very very clean in my opinion after that add rays these are a really clean and nice detail to add to your uh, free text this is really good to make it look cinematic in my opinion and then i'm going to drag down the rays brightness to 1.5 so something like this so we get some light races here after that add a deep glow you can set it to 0.5 then add the curves increase the contrast here a little bit so this kind of S shape here, then drag down the deep glow a little bit more. So after the contrast boost on the curves, uh, decrease the deep glow a little bit. Uh, so the glow doesn't become like too, too glowy basically. I'm uh, pretty satisfied with the animation we've made. So what I'm going to be doing now is basically just adding a little camera lens blur to our footage in the background. Here we can set the blur radius to 2. So it looks something like this before and after. There's a small touch there. And now on our 3D text, go to element, go down to render mode, and then full render. And this is how our 3D title is going to look in the end.
insanely, insanely good. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we gotta be honest here. Like, this looks actually crazy good. Uh, this uh, 3D title animation. I'm in extremely satisfied actually with uh, this 3D title. And now, obviously, if you guys want to save this as a preset and use it for another time, uh, mark your uh, effects like this. Select them by pressing Control A. Go to animation, save animation preset. And here, name it 3D Warp Title, then press save. And now you have your 3D Warp Title preset saved, which is uh, pretty nice, so you guys can use it for another time. And now, uh, if you guys want to skip this whole process we've done here, basically, by making the whole animation, all of the effects, all of the keyframes, everything like that, I've made a 3D Title preset pack which is a huge time saver if you guys want to get 3D titles insanely fast. You just literally just drag and drop in them and you guys already have your 3D titles there. You don't have to animate anything, everything is already done. And it's super easy to customize and it's also filled with ideas. Because that's also a problem I used to have when making edits, I was just always stuck. I had no clue what to add into my project or edit. I was like literally stuck like I was just thinking okay what what should I add here or what should I, I had no uh, I was just uh, I basically ran out of ideas but this pack also solves that with over 10 unique 3d title presets so you won't uh, run out of ideas with those let's say that and uh, what you basically have to do is just make a new solid layer go to animation presets user presets 3d title presets here we could add the zoom out title drag and drop here, same before, custom layers, custom text and masks, and here we can choose our uh, title we made before. And this is how the zoom out title is going to look insanely, insanely clean. I love this uh, 3D title so much. Uh, with just a simple drag and drop, you guys get this look here. And I can show you guys one more. So if we make a new solid layer, we could drag on the spin title, drag and drop, same here, custom layers. Then choose your 2D title. And here when we add it, you guys can see we have to increase the size of the title here. So open up your 2D title layer here. Select the text and then increase the size here. So 150, something like that. So this is how our 3D title looks now. The spin title. Insanely, insanely nice uh, clean animation with a, just a drag and drop here. And now for some of the uh, customizations you guys can do. So go into your solid layer and here we have the hue and saturation. Just drag this one around and you guys will get different colors on your text here. Which is insanely, insanely nice. Uh, so you guys can customize it to your uh, liking basically. So let's say we want to have this kind of purple look. So this is how the spin title looks now with just some quick customizations uh, by yeah, changing the color. Super easy, super quick, and you guys will get this look here. And this will make your title even more unique because you guys can change the colors to, uh, uh, yeah, whatever <laughs> color you guys want, basically. So if you guys want to save hours of work, uh, never run out of ideas, and get all of my 3D text knowledge in one pack, this is the perfect pack for you, and it's going to be a link in the description down below so you guys can go and check it out. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hope you guys liked the 3D title animation we made in this tutorial. So if you guys liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com. Also check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.